Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nina and this is A Wheelie Good Life. I am being rained on. Is it raining? I'm not even sure. It's a glorious, glorious sunny morning. I'm sitting underneath the gum tree and I am actually feeling really fabulous. So I have um, taken two weeks off work and when I closed the laptop yesterday, but honestly, as, when I closed the laptop, I was just relieved. I was so relieved. Two weeks off and um, oh my God, I need, I need sleep like the desert needs rain. I tell you what, it's just been a hectic time. But what I was gonna say was, I'll give you an update on mum. Mum's in hospital. Um, the tumor in her esophagus has pretty much blocked her esophagus so she can't eat or drink properly. Mum's very, a very a very resilient person and I have accepted that she's chosen no treatment and this is the way it's going to go. I've accepted that because I believe in the right of everybody to die with dignity and I couldn't then believe in it but not apply it to my own mother. So um, it's just watching someone deteriorate is is a very hard thing to do it is a very hard thing to do and all the memories come back and all the memories of i was thinking there was there was this one particular memory that came to me we used to live um well northern suburbs of here and i remember she'd walk me to school and then she'd go that way and i'd go this way and one morning there was a garage sale on for some reason at someone's house and she bought this drop waist blue sort of aqua blue dress and it had pleats at the bottom and a couple of days later she was wearing that dress and it's always one of the dresses that I will always remember she just looks stunning so it's hard to equate that memory with what I with what I see of her now it's it's very difficult and to be honest with you one of the more difficult things has been that um, I never realized I mean I did realize I did, of course I realised, I'm not naive, but my mother is nearing the end of her life and all of a sudden relatives, and in particular one relative comes out of the woodwork after a 15 year absence, I believe, out of life, um, out of my life. He's a stranger to me, this person is a stranger to me, I probably wouldn't recognise him if I saw him walking down the street. Um, but he has turned up and um, come back in, come back into the picture and you're like, you know, like, I, it makes you wanna, to me it's distasteful, it's very distasteful. It's like all these years, this person's been gone, even after I repeatedly attempted to bring this person back into mum's life. No, no, I didn't want a bar of it. I'm just observing, observing, learning about human nature. Human nature, it's a wonderful thing. Um, so, oh, crikey, oh my God, doing my exercise of the day right now. Jesus, I feel weak. I tell you what, I've got primary progressive MS, for those of you that um, don't know. Primary progressive MS, and in the last week or so, oh my God, I have been so much more fatigued, and the meds I take for fatigue, not even been nailing it, so I've doubled and even tripled it on some days to get through work. Had to. Pulled right back on the exercise and that is making a fabulous difference. Um, I'm just keeping these short walks around the block, literally around the block. Uh, so that's, that's really helping and using my wheelchair the vast majority of the day. So I'm getting through the days, but two weeks off to deal with things. But anyway, today Lisa is coming, my support worker. I am meeting her at the local Yubby Cafe and we're gonna shake it up because there's no film school today, it's a one week break. So we're gonna go swimming, op shopping, drinking tea and doing hot Instagram shots. Yeah baby. So, oh my God, I gotta keep my voice down. Oh, people will think I'm not ladylike. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna, I'm hobbling off to the cafe now to meet her. And um, oh, we're gonna go and visit mum in hospital too. So I 
I will vlog a little bit. I don't, I think the nurses will probably throw me out if I start whipping the camera out and doing a live. We're doing a live cross today from the hospital. And uh, here we are here and look at this and look at the state of the food, the state of the nation. Nene describes it in point. No, that wouldn't work. So that's what I'm doing today, lovely people. I'll take I'm just sitting waiting outside the coffee shop. It doesn't open till eight o'clock. I kind of forgot. <laughs> I must also say that the doctors at the hospital have been nothing short of wonderful. There's a particular oncology doctor um, who wanted to have a talk with me a couple of days ago and he started out in that normal doctor manner of gentle, you know, tiptoeing. And I said, Doc, I said, just cut the bullshit. I said, just be real with me because I'm, I'm okay to hear that. I said I'd rather the truth than glossing things over. And I think he he appreciated that. And then he did speak quite frankly. So I like that very much. It's been hard times. I think what's keeping me going is I am keeping the same routine going. So I've got my nose. Oh, it's itchy. I'm keeping the same routine going as much as possible. So I'm going to work. I've been going to work. I've been doing all the things I normally do um, and just fitting everything in around that, not like letting everything stop. Because if you stop, I firmly believe that if you stop, then you've got time to think. And time to think leads to, you know, depressive thoughts and, and um, it, you know, at some point I think we all know that we're gonna have to bury our parents you just don't know when that time will be and it is a very painful time but it's a moment in time it's not you've got to um feel it feel the pain feel it and then let it go just live with it i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say but yeah just keeping things as normal as possible and i tell you without the ndis the National Disability Insurance Scheme, I would not be in the position that I am because I've been able to put more supports in. The fatigue has been so bad in the last couple of weeks that I've needed help with um, personal care and pretty much everything. Like I've put in extra supports. In my budget, I always keep a buffer zone, 20, 25% for times like this. I've had to have more transport to and from the hospital more more of everything just more and the, i remember the doctor who said to me um like how far away do you live from mum and and what sort of support can you give your, your mum um once she's sort of discharged or if she's discharged and i said doc i said look at me like look at me i'm sitting in a wheelchair i have a whole team of support that looks after me supporters i can't give physical support i can do emotional i can do all the organizing and all that but I can't do the physical stuff and he kind of got it I think he actually got it so yeah resilience resilience would be one of my absolute favorite words I think in this life whether you've got a disability or not resilience is one of the skills you've got to have on board in your little toolbox I hope this bloody cafe opens up soon it's so popular that there's someone waiting there for their coffee I'm here with Lisa and we are just going in to visit mum at the hospital. Don't know how much I'll be able to vlog. Oh, Jesus Christ, I fell in the car. I love the hospital because it's so colourful on the outside. Oh my God, I can't even stand up. Lisa's on the other side. Oh, there she is. <laughs> She's getting my um, walker out and we're going to head in. Do you want a magazine or something to read? Uh, oh, you could bring the crossword book with you, could you? Where is it? Well, I've got one on top of me. On me. I better get going. Hey? <laughs> you know what I want? Yes, I know what you want. 
Um, Are you playing? Has that got a chemist? Yeah, yeah. A chemist? Yeah, on the premises. Oh, I don't know. No, they don't have a chemist here, do they? Yeah, you can't. There's no chemist here. I'll do my best. My best is all I can do. Get back in bed. Or you could sit in the chair. I'm in the van with Lisa and we've just been taking my hot Instagram shots because I'm so hot that I just couldn't contain myself any longer. So at least it's done a really good job and I'll insert one of the clips here. But we are on route to Beaton Park for swim a dip. Time. Swim time, yes. Yes, I actually do have to buy a hair cap because I can't put my hair in chlorine. Oh. So I'm just going to do aqua walking for today. Can you not? They don't sell them there. Oh my god, they do, don't they? Or do they? Yes, they well, do. they will, but it's whether or not you want to pay the excess. That's true. Yeah. That is true. It's been quite an interesting day today, actually. Really, Lisa? Yeah. What's the most interesting part about today, then? Probably um, a spontaneous visit to your aunt. Right. I could have just pulled up a seat and watched the show. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, it's you handled that so well. Um, and that's mental health issues firsthand, untreated, undiagnosed, unmedicated. And, yes, um, yes it is. Yeah, and you handled that so well. The things that were said, I'm not sure I could have handled them in the same demeanor that you did, in all honesty. Hmm. So, um, but yeah, it was quite interesting and it was a highlight for me because I've always loved um, learning new things and, and seeing different people, people and, and their environments and um, the way that their mind ticks. Not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just different. Well, I, I, I guess you got an insight into that today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not that it was unexpected on, well, certainly not on my part. But you've got to shake the shit off, Lisa. You've got to shake the shit off and keep going forward. Yeah. Never look back. No, yeah, well, at least you're, um, you're the sane one in the family, I guess. Well, thanks, <laughs> I think. <laughs> You've got oh. a lot of other hurdles to, to kind of go over, but um, you handle everything perfectly. Oh. Very well. Thanks, Lisa. It's very humbling, I think, to hear you say that. It really is. It's just what I see. I love coming here. Do you know that I'm going to start doing um, swimming on Sundays? Yes, Sunday is my typical rest day, but I thought I might make it my regular pool day. Sounds good, especially with um, the weather warming up. Yeah. All right, we are here. Oh, that was so fantastic. I just got home from swim, swimming and hello. Shit, shit. Oh, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, black concrete. Oh, my God, that is hot. I've got to open up this gate. Hello. Hello, babies. Hello, Dante. Hello. It's a few hours later now and I've woken up from a nap. I had to have a little nap after all my busy morning um, but I'm down here at the beach just enjoying some sun and checking out the waves I absolutely love coming out here and getting a bit of sun but I thought I'm going to tell you the part of today that I didn't vlog so I've been um, I've been umming and ahhing about when or if I should tell my aunt about mum being so unwell so my aunt is mum's sister and my aunt all her life has had mental illness i had to put that to one side and i thought yeah and i told lisa i, I debriefed lisa this morning and i said look lisa i said um you know your experience with mental health and gave her a bit of a debrief about the situation i thought well you know might as well do it so um lisa drove me down and we went to my aunt's house 
um, and I knew, uh, you know, exactly how it was going to play out. There were no surprises. It was, I always call it, it's like opening a blast furnace because it's, it's, um, it, it's not, it's hard for other people to see, um, the way things are, I guess. Now, but when I was younger, I did, I, I thought people would judge me for having, um, mental illness in the family and I guess well you know they do huh? but it is what it is these days but I debriefed Lisa we went it was we walked away from that situation and Lisa said to me she said I really don't know how you've dealt with that and and you know family all your life and remained so sane and so um like you know normal and I'm like, well, don't really know what to say. That's, that's just resilience, Lisa. It doesn't, it's just the way I am. Lisa said to me, one of the first things she said to me, she said, how did you stay so calm? And I said, well, she's not well. I said, that's obvious, you know, she's not a well person mentally. Um, it's clinical detachment. I can just remain clinically detached from situations. I don't really know how I do it. I just... I guess it's a learnt skill. I'm not emotionally involved, so there's nothing to be um, upset about. I guess it's like a cop, you know, you go to a shooting, a death, whatever it may be, and you deal with it and you just keep going, you just keep rolling on, I guess. So that was that. Was that. But I had a great day. And you know what Lisa said to me, like towards the end of the shift, she said, um, just wanted to ask, like, she's doing, getting feedback from her different clients. And she said, is there anything I could do better or, or am doing good um, so I can improve? And I'm like, seriously, I said, Lisa, I said, come again. Um, no, there's nothing. Well, there's nothing I've got to really say negative, you know, positively. I said, you're fantastic. Awesome that she's actually asked for feedback because so many, you know, support workers don't really want to know what they're doing wrong or right. No. Gorgeous. Hey, aren't they gorgeous? John, I can see that. I can see that. Okay. See you later. Go on. Get to head home again now and have a Tetley's. Have a Tetley's and have just chill out. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the afternoon. Not really sure. It's my two week holiday, so I don't really have to do anything. It's so nice to feel free and not have to think about going to work next week. It's just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I've booked Aussie, Aussie Mozzie to drive me down tomorrow. I've got to go out and do a few things in the morning, visit mum again. So I've booked him for 8.30. I said, Aussie, is it your day off tomorrow? And he's like, do you need me or not? And I'm like, well, yeah, I do. But is it your day off? Because, you know, self care and all that. I shouldn't be, you shouldn't be driving me around on your day off. I think it is his day off. But, um, well, he's coming at 8.30, so I better be ready because we're going to... I've got the MSP support group on tomorrow. I've got to visit mum in the morning. Busy, busy, busy. I don't know how I keep it all together. I really don't somehow. But I just absolutely love being back in my Permaboole F5 chair. So much less fatigue when I am just in this chair. I'll be in the chair for the rest of the day now. I really... I really... Being on my feet, oh my God, it's just harder and harder and harder as the months and weeks go by. Oh my God. I know one day I'm just going to be in this chair full time. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, but one day. One day, someday, but not today. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day now, and I'm just about to go and visit mum. I've popped into the chemist here in Wollongong to grab a couple of things before I head out and Ozzy is waiting for me it's his day off and he should be enjoying his day off instead he's driving me around which i really appreciate but oh my god he needs a day off all right i'll try and cross the road and not get run over oh wow you feel feeling the love yes. that's amazing that is so super cool Oz. would you like to suck a ball Oz? <laughs> <laughs> Are you calyptus ball? Don't be dirty. Mozzie. You got me? It could help with that sickness. You know, that sickness that prevented you from... 
having churros. Where's mum? Mum's in C3 West, so therefore that, that entrance. Yeah. I'd drop you off. No, I can't find it. A park. I've got a disability permit. If the, oh no, that's already taken, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like I guess everybody's here on a Sunday. Aussie's just dropped me off. And I must say, I'm heading to the hospital. I must say, I really do appreciate that he took time on his day off to drive me around. I've had to go down to mum's house and do a few things this morning. And um, people like him make, make this so much easier than it than it um, may otherwise have been. So thank you, Ozzy. I appreciate it. I know you'll watch this. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you, Ozzy. You're welcome for always. coming on your day off. Always. Uh, I'm always here for you, Nina. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Alright. You better go and get your microwave. Yes, I need to get my microwave. I'm moving houses. Do you so know? Do you know I wore these just for Ozzy this morning, the pussycat earrings? Full of shit. I did! No, it's for the mum. She just she just wants to look hot. No, it's for the Turkish doctor, you actually. Don't have to try hard. <laughs> I was really, I guess, oh, sort of humbled in a way um, when Nina asked me to just to have a few words, a bit of a speak today. Um, I had a moment some weeks ago and I thought, I know everyone's going through stuff and whether it's yourself, your family or different things. And I just wanted to write something, I guess, positive and just share on Facebook a bit of my story because there's people I used to work with that I don't see much anymore and that's I find the beauty of Facebook I can keep in contact and with people and find out their lives I've got relatives overseas so it's just nice then you know to share what it was so I'll just read my Facebook post just as is um, to have an idea as to yeah why it is what it is so I wrote just wanted to share a little something with you all. In case you don't know, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis about four years ago. And I'll be honest, it has not been an easy time. It's a shitty degenerative neurological disease that has no rules, none. To most people who ask how I am, I always try to be positive and say, I'm great, I'm fabulous, never better, which is mainly a big fat lie but I've never wanted pity or anything like that. But two weeks ago at work, something clicked. That little voice in me acknowledged that yes, I'm 53 years old, yes, I have MS, and it's all okay. It just felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. I was at work, it was just another typical Tuesday, nothing special going on, no idea which triggered this epiphany, but hey, I'll, I'll take it. I know that there are so many of us that are fighting battles that no one can see. I'm certainly not alone. And I know that there will be good days and bad, but I'm so grateful to have a loving family, supportive friends, and very patient work friends. Sure, I can't do everything I used to, and I might not be able to make every social outing, but I will do what I can, when I can. It might mean taking a week off work to go to a concert with my girls in the mosh pit, no less. But again, it's all okay. More than okay. Self-care is high on my agenda. To those who have patiently listened to me trying to avoid self-pity while I was actually wallowing in it, 
thank you, you all know who you are. So next time when I'm asked how I am, I won't be putting on a brave face, I'll be able to say good and mean it. So it really was, I was just, it was just a Tuesday, work Tuesday, whatever happens on Tuesday, it's nothing. It's not, you're not halfway through the week, you haven't started, it's not anything. It's just Tuesday and I was just doing my thing, I work on the switchboard, I do accounts. Three hours later, the MS Peer Support Group has finished for the month and I am rolling home. Wasn't that a fantastic speech by Jackie? I really enjoyed that. I think the difference in Jackie, mood-wise, is just palpable. So we finished off the day taking some Instagram, taking an Instagram shot at the bar and I'll insert that here for you guys to see. But I'm just heading home. I'm going to have a coma nap because I really do deserve one after that. Had a steak sandwich, chips, and a finished lunch with a banoffee tart. So many laughs, good company. Just want to go home, have a cracker of a nap. Another busy week ahead, more hospital visits with mum. But if you like what you see, I think I'll leave you guys here. And if you like what you see, please give me a big thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And as always, remember, it really is a really good life.